hello YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. To uh, if you are new, welcome. I I am happy to have you here. If you like what you see, hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put new videos out. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm always happy to have you here. Uh, today is Monday, so that means this is Color and Create with U.S. U Rock Art. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's an open coloring collaboration. And I will put the link down below in the subscription box so you can go check out all of the other stuff that everyone is coloring and creating. So... Um, so, so yeah, you can join this collaboration anytime. Uh, if you can color in the book that they're using, or you can use your own book. So, I am working on a new diamond painting I just started on Friday. It's going to be gorgeous. Wait till you see it. And I finished the one that I've been working on, so I'm so happy to have that done. So, so yeah, I'm not, not going to color code it or tell something that wasn't true. I was really getting irritated with all of the color changes, so so I'm I'm just really glad to have that done. It, it turned out beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Uh, and today... For my meal, I think I'm just, I have some barbecue chicken in the slow cooker. It's going to be an easy dinner. I'm just going to do some barbecue cheese quesadillas. And yeah, this, yeah, so that's what I'm eating for today. So let's, let's get into the coloring collaboration. I'm really excited to show you my, my finished coloring picture. All right, guys, here is my finished coloring page for this week's coloring collaboration at U.S. U Rock Art. I will, I, I know I'm saying that wrong. I will put the link for the collaboration down below in the description box. But yeah, this is the page that I finished. And it says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. And that's from Proverbs 3.24. I just use glitter gel pens to color this. I started out using crayons, but I didn't like how it was turning out. So I switched to the colored gel pens. I think it turned out really good. I love doing... Uh, flowers and butterflies and things that take that I can use bright colors for so I'm gonna haven't picked out my next page yet but I think I'm gonna color out of this this book is new so I, I think I'm just gonna print or color something out of this book and I will link this book down below I got it on Amazon and this is the next book for the coloring collaboration I'm really excited for this um, it's going to start up in a few few weeks so and until they start on this book I'll probably just color out of this one So yeah, that's it for the, the coloring part of the collaboration. And now for the creative part of the collaboration. Uh, this is the diamond painting that I've been working on. It is now completed. So, so I think it turned out really gorgeous. And this is one that no matter what way you turn it, it's going to look great. I actually like how it looks this way. Let me get 
that out of the way there. So, so yeah, that is my finish one. This was definitely a late love because of all of the color changes. It just was getting to be really irritating toward the end, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, this is the one that you guys all chose for me to do, so I am... Um, Glad to have that done before I can let anyone purchase this, though I do need to get it sealed. So I'm going out tomorrow. Hopefully I can get paintbrushes somewhere so I can get the Mud Podge on it and, and have it be ready to go. So yeah, this is my finished one. And here is the next painting I'm working on. Um, it says, In God We Trust. I just started this uh, three days ago. So this is actually going really fast. So after that last painting with all of the color changes, I just wanted something that would go fast with where I could work on big blocks of color at a time. So, so yeah, I think this is turning out really pretty. A lot prettier than what the colors looked like on the canvas. So I got up to here all the way across done. So yeah, you can see how sparkly it is. And then I have that much done for the top half. So, so yeah, this is, is the newest one. So yeah, I think this is going to be gorgeous when it gets done. And that concludes this edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. Um, I'm feeling oh, okay. The doctor did give me a new sleeping pill. Um, it's actually used to treat bipolar disorders, but... It kind of shuts your brain off so you can, can sleep. So a lot of doctors use that along with an actual sleeping pill. So so I actually slept all night last night. At one point I went went almost four days without any sleep at all. So I'm I'm just so so happy that I was able to sleep last night, so I woke up feeling pretty good today. My friend's coming tomorrow to to go maybe out to eat into the grocery store. I haven't been anywhere since April 8th, so it, it's been a couple of weeks. I'm ready to get out. I will be very, very careful because there is a nasty bug going around here that I do not want to get. So, so yeah, I, I will be careful when I go out tomorrow, but, but I'm, I'm just really excited to be going out. I can't, can hardly wait. So, so that is, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great week. The weather here today is absolutely beautiful. I got the doors open, letting some fresh air come in. I may go sit outside on my porch and work on my a new coloring page here in a little bit. I, I did have one cup of coffee. I may make a, a second cup of coffee and just sit out on my porch and relax and enjoy some, some fresh air today. So you guys have a great week. I will see you tomorrow night on the live show. We always have a lot of fun. Um, again, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me if you could. That really helps me out a lot. Everyone, be safe, be happy, be blessed, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!